All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PUBG. As you can see, sadly, we are not on the test map anymore because they only allowed it for a few days and they took it away. So we're back to the same old, same old. Uh, I'm just going to drop super fucking early. How about that? I'm going to drop as early as humanly possible and see what I land on, and we'll go from there. There you go. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, excuse me. Lowell just said, "In before you get gunned down by the by the by the almighty M416." I would not be surprised. The M4 is the weapon of choice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Someone else just landed. Fuck. There's no gun in here. Are you serious? I'm fucked. I lived in a house with no guns. And no exit! What the fucking shit? <clears throat> no guns and no exit. <clears throat> I actually got two punches in. <laughs> well, that was absolutely terrible. Of course, I land in the one house with no fucking guns for a terrible start. Amazing. What an amazing run. And that's PUBG, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for your support tonight. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the Bloodborne Redemption run and for uh, Yakuza 6. Peace out. Have a good night, everybody. All right, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be good. To imagine that. I come, I play for two, two seconds. All right, I'm gone. That's it. Stream over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Woomy Girl just cheered. I said, Phil, I get that they're bringing back the fat Xbox the Duke controller. Are you going to get it? Of course. I want that ginormous controller so bulky and round that you need like four hands to actually properly play with it. Actually, remember, I didn't have the original Model 1 Xbox, but my friend did. My friend Machi had it. And we went over to his house. There was actually a couple games on it that were interesting. Although a lot of them were buggy and shit back then. There was an X-Men fighting game. And we were trying to play it with these fucking giant controllers. And we're like, how am I supposed to, like, do stuff when I can barely, like, handle it? It's just so odd. It's oddly shaped. Um, but it was alright, I guess. It was, it was, eventually it got used to it. But then they changed it up anyway to the more modernized controllers. Oh, uh, what's up, Jachurity? Jachurity says, Phil, been a while since I got to catch a stream, so how have you been? I've been pretty good. Recently, things have been getting back on track. Uh, between playing Bloodborne, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, PUBG, and alternating that in with God of War, the slowness that I've had on streams has kind of slowed down. It's been better now. It's sped up. It's been more active, more people on stream actively. So, it's been good. It's been fun. I'm, I'm doing it again. It's two games in a row. I'm doing exactly the same fucking thing. Two games in a row, I'm dropping super early. I want to see how this goes. Oh my god, King Swaggy just did a 1,111 bit cheer to become the cheerleader for tonight, and he said, screw it, I bought bits. King Swaggy said he wasn't gonna do it, and now he did it. King Swaggy, thank you for the cheer, I appreciate that, and obviously I'll update the leaderboard when I get a chance. I'm just a little busy trying to land and not get squashed here. Trying not to land on a, uh, you know, a tractor and have it split my balls like it did a couple times when I played this game. And we've got no Wow. I just have the best possible luck when I play PUBG today. There's nothing in this house. I might as well pick up the shotgun because I can't find any more guns. I see Captain Cheer said, Wet dreams are common in teen years or late 20s? Uh, <laughs> what a question. I believe you can have a wet dreams as early as your puberty. Whenever you hit puberty, it can begin. And from what I'm to understand, I mean... Can they happen? They can happen to anyone. Um, I guess. Uh, I, I'm not exactly an extensive researcher on wet dreams there, ISD. I'm not sure if I'm exactly the right person who you want to ask that. Maybe someone else. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe Captain Sparkles. Uh, <laughs> maybe someone like that's the right person to ask. I don't know. Who's the authority on wet dreams? I have no idea. Head over to, uh... Head over to Dan's Gaming and ask him that question. See what he answers. He might know better than me. I don't know. 
<laughs> I had no idea. All right. So this is... All right. It's the same fucking... Dude, I went to the same building twice. I'm an idiot. I was so thrown off by that question. I went to the same building twice. All right. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Good God. What is going on tonight? All right. Let's go ahead and update this while I'm running. There we go. King Swaggins now up on the leaderboard. Congratulations and thank you, King Swaggins. Um, shout out to King Swaggins for shooting again. He said, what is a wet dream? A dream you have when you're soaked in water? I think everyone knows. I'm not going to explain it. You see, a wet dream is when <laughs> you wake up completely submerged under your water in your tub and you can't really, you don't know how you got there. That's what it is. There you go. Popsicolo tried to post a clip in the chat and apparently had an error. It says something went wrong. The clip doesn't exist. It's... What happened? All right, let's keep moving. All right, there's a building over here I'll check out because the, the circle ain't going to move so fast that I can't check this out. We'll go check it out. Yeah, I don't know, Popsicolo. For some reason, the clip's not working. What clip are you trying to post? I got an anonymous dollar tip. So I know this is random, but would you consider playing The Last of Us to prepare for the sequel? Playing it on no HUD mode would make a unique experience. So the thing is, I played it when it was new. Um, I played it when it was new. And I played it again when the remastered version came out. And I did enjoy playing it twice. But I don't think a third time is really warranted. I mean, uh, maybe right before when The Last of Us 2 comes out. But there's no indication it's coming out anytime soon. I think we're going to see more information about it at E3 this year. But we have no idea when it's coming out. So let's say, for example, they announced, okay, it's coming out 2019. Okay, maybe within a few months before the release of it, I'll replay the first one. But I wouldn't want to go back now and just randomly play it out of nowhere. I played it I mean, I remember a lot of that game, like a ton of it, because I played it twice. All right, I got a first aid kit. At least I got something out of this. Rest of the house so far has been freaking empty as shit. Nothing there. And. No, wow. I can't find anything of use in this house besides that first aid kit. Oh, 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 oh. There was a foregrip hidden right next to that thing right there. Shout out to Mike ZBR, who just subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Mike ZBR, for the sub. Pretty much appreciate that. Uh, Megato, 1990, asked, will I be playing the Detroit Become Human demo? Uh, probably not. Only reason being, I'm already sold on the game. I know what Quantic Dream games are all about. I know what Mr. David Cage likes to put out, and I dig it. And I don't think that I need to play the demo. Plus, the demo I've heard is pretty short. So it would be weird to have it try to fit it onto a stream when it really wouldn't fill up enough time to fill a stream. You see what I mean? So to answer your question, more than likely, no, I'm not playing the demo. But like I said, I'm already getting the game, so. Blue Blur just did a different weird sub-hype. Someone else has a different sub-hype than me. <laughs> I like mine better, the 8-bit version. I don't know whose sub-hype that is, but it ain't mine. It's unnatural. It's unnatural. What's up, straight, what's up, straight cash homie? Good to see you tonight. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're just we're just starting up. You've literally missed nothing. Extended mag. All you missed was the first match that lasted about twenty seconds. Ran right into someone with a gun who murdered me immediately. It wasn't a pretty sight. Kick Swag is true. said, "What do you think Beyond Two Souls lacked that Heavy Rain had to make it a better game?" Um. Well, all right. So, here's the difference between Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Heavy Rain is an ongoing murder mystery. There's a definitive crime. You want to know what's going on in the game. And your choices can actually make characters in the game live or die, completely changing the outcome of the game, right? Beyond Two Souls does have a mystery aspect. There's supernatural stuff going on in the game, which is good. But, the, the choices in the game can change the outcome and the ending you get. 
but not to the significance of heavy rain. Like, yes, you can actually miss entire portions of the story if you don't make the, the certain choices. At the same time, it's not like, oh no, someone died. It's not it's like dire consequences because of the way that things transpire. So in my opinion, I think Heavy Rain does it a little better. Plus, the, having an ongoing murder mystery is a little bit more interesting to me than just, oh, supernatural aspect or whatever. Um, not to say that I didn't like Beyond Two Souls. I did, but I think that I liked Heavy Rain better overall. So, there you go. <clears throat>